Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Steel Mod Type Run of EV Emerald. Last time, we entered the Hall of Fame! So, now there only remains a little bit more to do before we reach the final battle of this challenge. First, well, we gotta talk to the old man. And we get the SS ticket. Now, we're not gonna do any of the Battle Frontier challenges in this, because the balance is kind of fucky and you would need to EV train a team to really have... Well, for it to be balanced, basically. But what we can do is I can show you some of the other stuff you could do at the Battle Frontier. Okay, so that is the report letting you choose if it's Latios or Latias that's wandering. Eh, we'll just say Latias. All right. Oh. And the Professor can upgrade our Pokedex, too. I didn't catch that many. Well, okay, not that many different species. I caught quite a few of the same species, but that's besides the point. Yep, anyways, I will see you all in Slateport City. Who's this? Oh! Well, I'm already on the way there, so sure. And we're here in Slateport City. So, as for where we need to go, let's go here to the harbor, and we talk to this chick. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, right, I think you have to sail the Lily Coast City once before you can go to the Battle Frontier. And there's Scott! So yeah, there's a whole bunch of trainers you can battle in the different state rooms, but that's not really the important thing. Also, hey, here's Mr. Bridie. He came out of retirement. I guess he got bored. We'll talk. I don't know if I'll ever really retire, because I would probably just be bored out of my mind. I'll just take up some sort of side gig as a part-time thing, and... I don't know. Okay, so these are trash mods. Really? Hmm. Well, you do you, dude. I wouldn't call that a match. Level 57. Yes, I am. All right. Let's take on this guy. No, I didn't. What's it to you? Oh. At least you're a good sport about it. I can't hold that against you. Oh yeah, TM for Snatch. So the way this works, it's actually kind of interesting. If your opponent uses a move that doesn't yield damage, well, 
You can use Snatch, which has priority, and it will make the move affect you instead of the opponent. This can be useful to just fuck with someone while they're trying to set up. Of course, you may wonder why am I fast forwarding through all the battles. Well, one, these battles are all easy, and secondly, I don't want this video to be half an hour long. This is just showing off some of the post-game content. That's all this is. We're going to be doing this for a few episodes, either covering post-game stuff or stuff that I missed during the main playthrough, or that I just never got around to doing. Like, for example, we'll go down to the abandoned ship and we'll get all the different items there. If I recall correctly, there's an item in one of the trash cans. Yep, leftovers! Okay, well, in that case, hmm. I know I want to give it to something. Oh yeah, the ribbon that it has, uh, that's for entering the Hall of Fame. Okay, we're actually gonna swap the leftovers onto you, we'll give you, Shell Bell. I don't know if any of you are gonna particularly benefit from the... Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll be fine. Anyways... Let's go back up to my stateroom. Oh. I guess it's on a timer? Hmm. It's been a while since I've done the SS title, so... Yeah, you have to go and sleep in your cabin, I think. It's the one with the blue bed, that's how you know it's yours. And we've made it to Lily Cove City! Now we can go to the battle frontier. And Ruby and Sapphire, it was just the Battle Tower, which most people don't know this, but that was not introduced in Gen 3. That was actually in Crystal version. Although I don't think it was in the Japanese one, or it was locked off or something. That's besides the point. So yeah, there's a bunch of different facilities, each with their own gimmicks, and some of them are frankly just... Oh yeah, Scott owns this place. Some of the facilities are just bullshit. Um, the Battle Factory, for one, that's a rental facility, so it's basically pure luck. And then, well, another one is... What is it? I think. Oh yeah, the, I think it's the Battle Palace? Where, uh... Your Pokemon just uses moves randomly. Actually, now I think about it, most of these are just based on pure luck. Oh yeah, yeah, you can buy vitamins here too, so that's nice. But that's besides the point. So there's a few things I can show you guys while we're here. In this building, you get a bunch of different prizes, but you need to get battle points for that. In this place, you'll find a chick that will trade you a Meowth for a Skitty. But what we're really after is all the way over here. Oh. Yeah. She's telling you about Pseudo Widow. <clears throat> the only one in the game. And you have to use a Wilmer Pail on it. Wake it up. Now, Pseudowoodo, kind of a gimmicky Pokemon. 
not really that impressive. But it has an interesting move. It has an interesting move pool, so you might like it. Okay, let's take it from the top. All right, take two. Okay. I forgot if Paralysis actually affects capture rates. We'll see. This time, no electric attacks. All right. And now, you just... Okay, first try. What to call ya. Petra. Nothing to do with the uh, ruins from uh, in Jordan, but because of, well, it's petrified wood. But there's something else down here as well. Now, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center and get something that can use Waterfall. Okay, so now we're on the water. We go down here and, well, first of all, let's pop a repel real quick. Is it this way? Yes, it is. So this is the entrance to Artisan Cave. And somebody didn't get the memo. I'm recording here. Anyway. So, let's just wait for the repel to wear off. And you find Smeargle. It's the only Pokemon in this cave. But get this. The move, the move it can learn is called Sketch. It can copy any move. Now you think, oh, that's great. It means you can custom tailor it to be whatever you want. Well, that's before you look at its stats, which are utter dog shit. You want to try an interesting challenge? Use a team of only six Smeargle. There's even a hack for Fire Red that's specifically for that. I might put that on the channel sometime. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Hmm, what am I going to call you? Hmm. Van Gogh, after the painter. And yes, it's pronounced Van Gogh, not Van Gogh. He was Dutch. Now don't go cutting off your ear like your namesake. Anyways, we'll see you in a second. There's a protein here. There's a calcium here. There's an iron here. Over here is a hit point up. And a Zinc. And on the upper floor, a Carbo. And it drops you off right here, over by the Battle Tower. Anyways, uh, that's all we're gonna do here. We're gonna cut ahead to another post-game area. And now we're here in Fall Arbor Town. Because there's something interesting that has happened in here. Nothing new from you, but... You go all the way down here, and the, the Fossil Maniac has managed to dig his way into a new cave. He's wrong, by the way. Desert Underpass. So, I'm not sure if there's any items, but, oh yeah, you can find Ditto here. You know what? We are, we are going to catch you. Hmm. Gemini. Okay, I gotta cut ahead till we see something interesting. And wouldn't you know it, at the very end of the road, you find the fossil that you didn't pick up in Mirage Tower. Now, I don't know what happens if you didn't go to Mirage Tower before the post-game, but I'm guessing this area doesn't open up until after you grab the first fossil. Okay, let's just use the escape rope and get ourselves out of here. 
And I think that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.